the gods are dead. In their wake, men and giants survive for a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers could dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Yes. Hello. Welcome to the Banner Saga, a story about the sun that stopped. You've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Track around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. These portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the enemy is red. It's your turn to act. Movement happens before action. These rings show Shieldbear's active. Uh, Shieldbear is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called the Varl, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Click the tile you want to move to. When then click the check mark to confirm your shield partner here to get him into attack range. To target an enemy, click the tile on which they stand. Only tiles are ally tiles. Ally tiles are blue, the enemies are red. Target this enemy now by clicking his tile. You can choose to either attack the enemy's strength, which is red, or break his armor, which is blue. The numbers beneath each icon show the damage you will do to that stat. Strength counts as both health and damage, and loss of two strengths means you will now do two less damage. If strength fall to, falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break arm, break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. This enemy has only 5 strength remaining. A strength attack will kill him. Here's what's here. He's down. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. After taking an action, your turn ends. 
Next up is the enemy. Turns always alternate, even, even if you are outnumbered. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield banger's high armor. Now it's your whole Warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it wisely. By clicking on gold tiles, a character can move further than usual at the cost of one willpower per gold tile. Red pulsing tiles beneath your enemy show how close you have to get to be in range. Move your warhawk, okay? Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Click him. Clicking your hackers with tile will bring up all his combat options, including a move, which we don't have right now, ability, attack, and end turn. The ability description appears totally below, yep. Uh, normal strength damage to uh, two adjacent enemies going clockwise from a target. Village. That enemy made quick work of chieftain's bodyguards. When there is only one enemy left, players enter pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order and there are no more guaranteed turns. Yeah. If a character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one willpower. Okay. So we'll finish him off. Okay, alright, we can add willpower to empower the attack. Victory! The foe slain dead. Okay. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his lust. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with Doppel or King's Tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the Proving Grounds. Chapter 1. Only the sun has stopped. You've approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you've, you're leaving the great hall. He cuts to the chase. Eric, steward of Strat Strand, I manage the governor's business. Ubin, isn't it? It is. The governor tells me you will be giving us a hand. Seems a bit chaotic around here, Eric. It's been worse. We've got a lot of irons in the fire. What does he ex he want exactly? Scufflings that you didn't hack up in the great hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the, do by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Click 
quickly to market tent to visit the merchant. Okay. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. And I'm not in the mood today. But what? Talking to an idiot. The scuffling chieftain bled out about an hour ago, had. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I, I don't want I don't talk to they don't talk to me. Eric needs some help here. Had I had a change of heart. I hope you do give us hard time. Had sweats visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just uh, buy one of these. If everybody, everybody thinks I'm getting work over every week, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah? Fine, I'll pay. You toss a silver of silver on the table. Both men look at you with surprise. Had gestures, meekly diverted of junk from his stall. Take whatever you like. Only thing I would like is the name of a place. No, man, by the East Hall. But that was months ago, last I know. Hat skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel, disappearing for a while until his blows this blows over your figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we on here? Good move. Were you wearing green back at the Great Hall? Mm, no, we just bought them while you were walking around. Why? They look good. I'm glad you care. Good move goes off to look at more stalls. Eric, that man of yours seems unreliable at best. A blind dog would just had, but he used to be scuffling. If they're licking their wounds, they're probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mid hole? Best I can tell. The name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Do we have an approach of some sort? With the luxury. Come on, you've already mopped up worse today. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual thief. I'll remind him. Okay, so let's go to the meat house. You arrive in front of what must be nobleman. A few minutes later, Eric appears with a weather-beaten man, introduced as Valgard. I'll, I'll, I'll point them out! Eric oh, wait, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? <sighs> Let's get it over with, really. That's the spirit, says Valgard. Okay, here we go. Valgard boots the front door open, so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of the, of the table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scuffling scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and meat stains in the process. Oh yeah, there will be a lot of reading. I hope my voice won't collapse. Okay, I think actually we don't tempest. You have the tempest, so I want you. No, I want you over here, and I want you. Yeah, I think we're ready. Of course, he goes first. Look at them. It's gonna be battery. But then this one's no. Which one? Yeah, this. Which one? Axed. Axed. 
what's next okay move let's go for here we have two more so no let's attack you can't attack him okay you can't attack so stonewall oh the next one is this blonde guy you can deal with free damage and what can you do rally gives people to allies at any range no oh, you know uh, okay let's walk up to him let's make it free yeah you guys are pretty slow aren't you Okay, he is gonna okay. okay, he resisted an attack. I'm I'm glad to see that. Okay. Can I attack? Can I move back? I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I don't want to go, you go, to go over there. Uh, who's next? One of these guys. Let's get you out of here. Okay, so they can attack. Oh, that's so... Nice. This is what I wanted. This. Oh, and I can hurt my guy. And why wasn't he hurt? I did it specifically to kill him. So attack him with one of those warden. Please don't die. <laughs> okay, you gotta go. If only seventy percent. Well, he's not dead yet, but he will be. Yep. Mm, let's get rid of your free five. No, three. And he had he had five. It's tougher than it looks. Or well, maybe I don't understand something. Defeat and then move forward. And okay, so those are achievements. It must temper by blood, pen resolve. Eric gains promotion. Gunnel has been injured, okay? There they are. Godspeed and I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's windows into the onto the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of bold reds and blues. One banner I know well. Vognir. Next for royal kingship, last we spoke. The other flag? Looks important. Yeah, important crests. See what I deal with all day long? 
<laughs> things make a little more sense. You hoped I would have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrive. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rooting, rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the ground hole before they come by. Can I ask one more favor? What is it? If you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Valgard hustle from the mid house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down at the docks. And I need to drink something. Look near. A familiar Varl steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version tramping the holds of golf, her go go golf hype about abandoned in purpose. Gods, Ubin, you're looking ancient. Comes with being old. And if there is fog in your there must be Haken. Must there? Still bleeding troops from the poor and stupid old yogs? At what age do you lose a sense of shame? Yorn demands it. I'll take that awful injuring to death in Gulf for Heim. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Arberan, in fact. And glad for it. Haken motions to the other ships in the bay, sails still fluttering, golden wolf head emblazoned on red, the king of men, or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. The king's son, Ludin. Don't you know, Scrivener? We visit his capital, he visit ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes. Haken has it. I had almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Haken. Then you're going to Grofheim? I have the distinct feeling that I finished my business in Strand and was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I'll drink a week away, but... Uh, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he is trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where is more? Hakon, have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading up to meet the governor. A host of giants departs in his wake. You recognize a few others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Mogger. See you in the morning, Scrivener. I'll be alone. The young prince of men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Ludin looks for all the world the sort of boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Grofheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. Yeah, probably. Weariness suddenly settles in and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it has been. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Vognius caravan tomorrow, it may not hurt to share a drink with Hakon or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. And I thought it was so oh, sarcastic. <sighs> okay, let's try time with Hakon. Scrivener! You find Hakon in the mid house surrounded by other Varl. Strand is no stranger to Varl but rarely sees this many. Hakon waves you over. Went straight for a flagon? Vognius the one who agreed to pass up a drink. I wasn't invited to Governor's Hall anyway. You already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year is the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise. What this time? 
When I got here, the great hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. <laughs> Humans. I guess it's. I guess if I only live as long as a yolk's fart, I might be desperate to make something of myself too. It's not too late to start trying, Haken. Haken lets slip a low chuckle. And if Varu could recount his deeds, known as his for cutting a swath through dredge at Vogner's side in the Second War, and regularly since then. Down here I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point. Just another reason to get back to Grofheim. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink until the mid house becomes overbearing, then step back into the cool air outside. Is this the right place? You find the prince at an inn. Guards blanket the building, included a sharp-eyed varl who must be working for Ludin. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Ludin. Yes, uh, you're with Vognir? I don't remember you. Not exactly. I've known Vognir for a long time. I'll be joining you back to Grofheim with my guards. Ludin looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? I work for the king, carrying thieves to the capital, but crossed by chance. Ah, oh, a tax collector! Fine company! What do you want? I hope to learn more about you. No, I have a habit of recording history. I thought we might talk about your visit. A royal historian! <laughs> Don't you already know? Your king and mine both have, have been practically trumpeting it throughout the cities. I've been on the road a while, I'm afraid. Ludin takes a deep sigh. Whether tired or, or ungracious, you are uncertain. Maybe both. A formality, mostly. Vognir came to our capital in Arboron, and now we go to the Varl's capital in Grofheim to summon this grand alliance for the next age of men and war. You sound unconvinced. There's no need for it, and it's damned cold up here. You get the sense he's struggling not to complain outright. You take the opportunity to excuse yourself. But he... Okay, he complained anyway. Okay, I guess we will go to the Great Hall. At dawn, you've, you are woken by a delivery of goods. At least you think it's dawn. Then, hard to tell with a sun that never moves. The governor's crest adorns the supply leaders. All there, just as promised to your mild surprise. You wonder if Eric had anything to do with that. Your guards take the treasure wagon down to the gates. Vognir is already here. A while later, Ludin and his men appear, groggy and disheveled. Mogor steps forward, Vognir's quartermaster. If you recall correct correctly, in charge of his unwieldy entourage of warriors, you know him only in passing. He asks if you're ready to depart. We are ready. You follow Mogor and join the others. Usually the smaller doors set into the gates would be enough to enter or leave the city, but the town guards have been told to push them open entirely. They mutter things under their breath that are hard, that are best not heard. Perhaps the governor expected you to draw a crowd, but there's nothing of the sort. Just faster, tired people. It summarizes Chen well as a whole, I think.
the caravan stops for the day. A gift, says Mog, cracking open meat casks, from our gracious friend, the government of Strand. Hours pass with Rukus laughter as the meat is passed throughout camp. Toast. Drink a little. You go easy. You have nothing against a good drink, but if anyone is going to keep an eye on things, it may as well be you. The revelers eventually fall asleep without incident. Your eyes groggily, the campsite a casualty of merriment. Mogur is already kicking warriors awake when you spot Ludin, stalking your direction. He sidesteps sleeping bodies. But to wake up, you nod, Vognir. You're needed. Ah, it's Ludin. Always a pleasure. You look well rested. Vognir releases a cage you own and receive a hard-eyed stern in return. How long to Grofheim? <laughs> With only two days out of strand, you know? Come, I'll show you on a map. This is the map of the world. You can explore it by dragging the mouse to the pan and using the mouse wheel to zoom. The location of the caravan is indicated here by Ubin's icon. The world map is covered with many locations and holds much lore. You can explore the map by clicking on locations for more information. So we are right now on the wandering road. Oh, lost gate. Last gate. Crossing of the small bridge. Yeah. So there is the map. Of the whole world. When you free. Yep, okay. What's that? The cardinal directions. Oh, it doesn't tell me anything. Transportation. The constellations. Warden. Yeah, if you want, I'll click all of those for you to read. For now, let's go back to the camp. We head north, then east, past the forts. Rothheim's far from strand, going to be a long march. You should have drank last night, Ludin. Why not take the ships to Scrymirstead? Scrymirstead? Scrymirstead. What's the point of marching? The Silverstone Bay is called that for a reason. It stays covered in ice all year. It would tear up the long ships. Too bad, though. We could have shown you all the wonder of Scrymirstead. Of half sunken city crawling with dredge prints, dredge and glaciers. You like glaciers? Ludin exhales through the nose, a poor disguise for his contempt. He turns and bats aside the tent flap aside the tent flaps as he goes, barking at his company in the distance. Don't poke at the ant hill, Vognir. He seems no happier to be here than you. Spend a few more days with the boy, old friend. You'll be looking for a tall cliff to hop off, too. Ludin's got a shorter wick than Hakon. Thanks, Frognir. Let's get moving. Another half day to Vertfell if we're lucky. Camp is where you manage your caravan. During travel, you can enter camp at any time by tap tapping the camp button to on the travel hub. While the camp, or in, while at camp or in towns, you can upgrade your allies or equip the items in the hero stead. You can pass time by using the rest tent. Resting will improve the caravan's morale. A high morale will reduce casualties in war and af affect your willpower in combat. Each passing day will use supplies, so only rest when necessary. The training then will allow you to safely try out any characters in a mock battle. Tap leave at the bottom of the campsite when you're ready to get back to the road. Okay, so first of all, heroes. One of one or more of your units is injured. Injured uh, units can still fight but have a penalty to max strength equal to the number of days wounded. The heal as time passes when resting in camp. Okay, so I think we'll 
swap him with a like, with well with Haken. Like okay. Okay, so I did Okay, so uh, ability Okay, how can I Okay, so he needs to kill for something. Okay, and we have 34 renown right now. Okay, so that's all I wanted to know. Let's... Was there anything else? The training? No, no, I don't. I don't want Okay. Wait, okay, that's... No, I want to leave. <laughs> Uh, okay, we can't leave. So let's ready for battle. Apparently. Hey. I don't wanna. Oh, there's some training. The training clan allows you to test your party against a team of clansmen of equal power. power. Training fights never injure allies or grant renown, but they do let you test strategies in safety. The trainer will give hints about playing effectively and has something to say about each ability. Come here to test out new characters as they join you. Okay. I will do it by myself. Eventually. Okay, I don't think, well... We can rest one day. And I think this is a good place to end this part. So, I hope you enjoying the Banner Saga so far. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!